God. I do not feel good. Oh, I look like a dodgeball. Oh, I can't eat another bite. Go, hey, go. everybody. Oh, Welcome to the big idea. Terrible. Artie, what are you doing out oh, here? Oh, Mr. Dan, let's call off the show. I can't record today. <laughs> Send everybody home. Uh, we'll Artie. see you later, kids. No, Artie, the Artie. The big idea is canceled. Uh, okay, all right. Just a second. Yeah. Before we go any farther, let me say hello to the kids. Hello, kids. How are you doing today? Great. Well, we want to welcome all the schools that watch us across the nation and around the world. This is the Big Idea Experience. My name is Mr. Dan, and we're glad that you're here today. And we got a great new big idea. No, we And we're going to go to Artie to find out what it is. It's not a good big idea, Mr. Dan. Artie, yes, it is. The big idea is. is terrible. Nobody practiced the big idea. No, uh, Artie. Oh. Look at me. It's made me miserable, Mr. Dan. Yes, your stomach is very, very full. You always told me that the big idea was something that happened inside of you to change the world around you. That's exactly right. The big idea is something that happens inside you to change the world around you. Well, what's happening inside of me is not good, Mr. Dan. Well, I look like a furry do? globe. Look at me. Well, what did you do? I put that into practice this much big idea. Well, Don't big, you know what this much big idea is, Mr. Yes, Dan? the kids even know it. The big idea is what? Grit. Grit. That's, That's what right. I'm saying. It's grits. If no. anybody has never heard of it, grits is like oatmeal, no. but it's terrible. It's is that what you got you in these eat. pots? Look at that. Yeah, I made three big pots of grits, and I've been eating them all morning. Artie, it's, it's like not... hot cereal, people, and you don't want hot cereal. Okay, Artie, oh. the big idea is Mr. not Dan, grits. Mr. Dan, I need you to roll me to a veterinarian shop. Uh, Artie, Artie, what? listen to me. What? The big idea is grits. I it's know. It's not grits. It's grit. That's what I said. No, you said grits with an S. That's hot breakfast cereal. Wait, you're grit is refusing to get up when life gets hard. Wait, what is it? Refusing to give up when life gets hard. That's you're, grit. Grits is what you have for breakfast, or you get at Cracker Barrel. You're telling me after I ate three pots full of hot cereal that tastes like poor a poor man's oatmeal. Wow, Artie. That, that it's not cereal at all. It's refusing to give up when life gets... Wait, hold on. What's the definition again? Do the kids yeah. know it? Yes, the kids know it. You ready? Say it with me. Grit. Grit. Refusing to give up, to give up. When, life gets hard. when life gets hard. Ugh. Well, I'll tell you what's hard is getting any kind of movement today after eating all those grits. You know, my PE teacher said I'm supposed to move 30 minutes a day. I don't That's know how right. I'm going to do that. But if I'm supposed to refuse to give up, even when life is hard, I suppose I can do it. You guys think I can show some grit? Yeah. Okay, I tell you what, Mr. Dan, I'm going to go get on my sweat. And I'm going to show some grit. Okay. Uh, we'll see one, you back here in just a one minute. One second. Let's do this. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. Mr. Dan, check yes. out my muscles. Hiya. Well, Artie, you See are See what only 30 minutes of grit can get you, people? <laughs> check out my huge pectoral muscles. Can, uh, can I feel your uh, muscles? Don't, don't feel my muscles. I'm talking to the ladies. Okay. Hello, uh, ladies. Uh, all right, all right. All right, Check Artie. out my muscles. Let, let me feel... Hey, yeah. Mr. Dan, you're not supposed to squeeze Those my muscles. Those aren't real muscles. Oh, okay, fine. I put on a muscle suit. But I will tell you... Oh, oh, hold on. It's a little tight. There you go. I will tell you that after that 30 minutes of exercise, I do feel a lot better, Mr. Dan. Well, that is good. Well, grit is refusing to give up even when life gets hard. So even when it was hard for me to do those push-ups, did you see me do those Yes, push I saw those push-ups. I refused to give up, Mr. Dan. I, I showed grit. That's right. I, I bet these kids here and the kids watching online could show grit, too. That's right. And it's, you know, I was thinking back when I was a little kid, their age, I had a paper route. Yeah. And it's, you what, had to what's deliver. What's a paper route? Well, you had a stack of papers delivered to your house, okay. usually anywhere between 50 to 100. Okay. You'd roll them up, you put them in a sack, and you'd ride your bike and deliver them to the houses. You deliver what to the houses? The newspapers. Oh, that makes sense. I just have one question. What's that? What's a newspaper? Okay. Well, I know we don't use a lot of newspapers now. It's all digital. But yeah. that's what I had to do. And there were sometimes I felt like quitting. But my dad said, hey, Danny, you signed up for this. You wanted to 
make the forty dollars a month. So forty dollars a month. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. And I had to get up every day, get the papers, and get them delivered before I went to school. Even though some days I didn't feel like doing it, my dad made sure I showed grit by refusing to give up, even when life gets hard. So even when it was difficult, you stuck with it and you didn't give up. I had to do it in the rain when it was snowing, and even when it was super hot, I still had to do the job that I had requested. So these kids could show grit by having a paper route if they grew up in the 1950s, <laughs> okay. or they could show grit like in the classroom maybe, or, That's right. or on their soccer team. Yeah, finishing their homework. Maybe they get a book report to do, and it's supposed to be five pages long. Don't wait till the last day. You know, every day work on it, or practicing the piano. You know, you don't get to play chopsticks to Beethoven just overnight. You have to put in the work. It takes some grit, but not grit. You don't have to eat oatmeal, people. Not no. grit. Hey, before we go, Artie, yeah. how about we go over the big three with oh, everybody? Okay, yeah, I would love to go over the big well, three. Well, why don't you take the first one? Okay, uh, the first one is make um, make smart decisions. That's right. Yeah. Make smart yeah, and decisions. You always told me that's like when you think about what will happen after your decision, right? The, that's the, right. The consequences. That's right. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly right. You yeah. know, think through those decisions. And the next that, one is... That probably helps you to not give up when things are hard, to think about why you should make the smart decision. Yes. And then the next one is treat others right. Treat others. Oh, I like that one. And we need to treat others the way we want to be treated. Well, and so treat it, them with respect. Mr. Dan, it's kind of like what you were talking about last month about keeping your word. If you have grit, you can follow through with what you said you would do. And that, that's treating others right. That is exactly right. And what's the third one, Artie? The third one is magic. Maximize your potato. Maximize your potential. That's right. Oh, potential. Sorry, I said potato. Oh, it's potential, Artie. It's on potential. Grits. Maximize your potential. Yes. So tell these kids right here in the studio what that means. Well, maximizing your potential, it means like making the most of, of the opportunities you have. Like, for instance, I've got a bunch of grits, and you kids need to finish it up. That's, what's <laughs> how, that's how you maximize them. I, got, I don't think they want to eat those grits. Those things taste very good. No, they weren't very good. Hey, and so we need to go over the big idea one more time before we go. Oh, Would okay, you like yeah. to use our studio audience? Oh, 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 oh. They're ready. They're prepared. They're ready to blow your ears out yeah, and do the big idea. They can repeat it after me? They'll repeat oh, it after okay. you. All you right. guys ready? This this much. Here we go. Okay, this month's big idea has been grit. Grit. Refusing to give up. Refusing to give up. When life gets hard. When, when life, life gets, gets hard. hard. <laughs> well, you guys did a great job. Well, Artie, thanks for being here. Yeah. Studio audience, thanks for being here. Don't forget, you can check us out at thebigideaexperience.com, and we'll see them next month. We'll right, see Artie? see you next month. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody.